Good afternoon, it's me again in my channel for sharing with you guys my cooking experience, cooking with Jane. Look at the weather today, it's really hot and sunny. However, since last night until this early morning, it rained crazily here. That's why I wanted to make something that I always want to eat in every rainy season. It is hot pots and today I'm sharing my own recipe for a kind of hot pot here. So first of all, I have coconut milk, enoki mushrooms, onion, carrot, American corns. I already chopped them into short pieces like this. Boiled quail eggs, tofu, rice noodles, some crow um, daisy some malabar spinach you can choose other veggies um, that you like more and eat as as much as you like scallions um, cilantro and uh, some fermented uh, bean curd as well so let's get started first of all i boil one liter of water for making the soup while waiting, I'm preparing other things. First, I peel the skin of quill eggs. So I'm done with 10 quill, uh, 10 quill eggs. Mm, with one dollar, you can buy about 40 of them in Vietnam. Then I add one teaspoon salt into water. And I add uh, American corns into the pot, continue boiling for at least um, 20 minutes. These corns will help um, enrich the flavor of the soup with their natural sweetness. I continue with anarchy mushrooms. Their roots are until here, so I just cut them off here. Here we will leave them until we start eating. So I continue with carrots. Then slices. On flowers. Then onion. With this onion, I will cut it into halves then three parts I separate them onion also helps enrich the the soup as well a lot of people while cooking they use sugar however to me I prefer to use all of fair cheese and other ingredients to make the natural sweetness I check out I'll boil it 5 minutes more until I started start adding other ingredients then uh, tofu I will cut them into cubes half then half again then halves again then I continue with scallions I also divide them into the white part and green part with the white part I will cut them like this and I add them later into the soup at the same time with these onion and the green part I will cut into pieces I save them for later now I add uh, these onions into the pot So while waiting, let's talk a bit about the history of this hot pot. A uh, hot pot. Um, before I had a homestay, once I was hosting 
three couples. After the first breakfast, they decided to eat with me forever until they left. So I was really happy, of course. I love cooking and I love cooking for people. They enjoy my food and they wanted to eat with me. However, it was a little bit um, stressful because they wanted me to surprise them every, every single meal. Um, I had my own rule before that I never had a menu for what I would serve. So all of those people, they were really adventurous and were really open to new things. So they told me, okay, Jane, just go ahead, cook whatever you like. We will enjoy it anyways. Then I created a lot of different things. One night it was um, raining outside and I wanted to make hot pot like my favorite anytime it rains. However, two of them were vegetarian and I wanted to make seafood hot pot. It's really popular in Vietnam and it's really yummy. But to make the two eat as well, I had to create something new, vegetarian. There it is. The reason how I create the hot pot, I'm sharing with you guys today. But in the end, they ended up liking this more than the seafood hot pot. So I learned from that that anytime you put your effort and your love in your creativity, in your cooking, it will change a lot of things and you make a difference that you would never ever expect before you started. So I come back to cooking. There are a lot of vitamins that they might um, disappear when you cook them in water. Uh, so my teacher before shared with me a tip that you just need to add one teaspoon oil into the water. It would help prevent those vitamins to fly away. If you don't have uh, fresh coconut milk, you can use one can uh, coconut milk. Now I add carrot and continue boiling for about 5 minutes more. Let's take a look at the pot. Ah, smelling good. Now it's time to add coconut milk. Then I continue boiling about 5 minutes more. However, I will seasoning right now. If you have no seasoning powder, the vegetarian one, the veggie one, you can use it. Or you use salt and salt. I also add 2 teaspoons more seasoning powder then I cover and wait a bit more I prepare dipping sauce while waiting here I have a uh, fermented uh, bean curd basically it's tofu as well it's basically tofu in vinegar if you eat spicy you can add some chili as well however to me this is enough I don't need to add anything more while eating vegetarian, a lot of Vietnamese dip um, lady fingers, boiled lady fingers into the fermented bean curd like this and eat with uh, steamed rice. Now I add quail eggs, then tofu. It's almost ready for eating. Then I prepare. These can separate them a bit. I love barbecue these with um, beef as well. Cilantro. Eating hot pots is the best way to eat more veggies, especially for lazy eating veggies people. And I share noodles into. Now 
now I add scallions and I add some mushrooms malaba spinach crow daisy get some soup into my bowl first combination of corns, carrot, onion, coconut milk makes a really really special sweetness that you've never felt from any other ingredients. Just imagine it's raining outside or it's so cold outside and you're gathering together with your loved ones sharing a hot pot home how could it be better right so i hope you enjoyed my recipe today and continue following my cooking journey and thank you for watching see you next time